What I've got right here is a Type 3030 brake can. Now this is an older style brake can, and it's a very, very dangerous um, brake can. There is a spring in here, and you'll notice that this style has a bolted-on clamp on both sides. What would happen is sometimes drivers would, um, or mechanics would actually uh, um, get in a hurry, and they need to change the diaphragm in here, and I'll get to that. I'll show you what this diaphragm looks like, but they would get in a hurry, and instead of taking this clamp off, they would take this clamp off. Well, there is that big spring in here that I just mentioned, and it's under a lot of tension. And they would, they would take that off, and this thing would blow off in their face. Uh, if they were lucky, they would lose a whole lot of teeth, and uh, have to have some reconstructive surgery. If they weren't, uh, it didn't end well for them, okay? We'll just go with that. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start by taking this clamp off here the proper way. Now you'll notice, first thing that I did on this is I, I have already caged this spring because I don't want the pressure pushing this, which is also going to be pushing this out when I take this clamp off. Make sure that it's set right and we will take this off and as technicians you guys will be doing this kind of work where you're changing the diaphragm in here. Now you will notice one thing that I'm not doing is getting in front of this. This teeny tiny spring right here which is just a return spring. That's the diaphragm right there. And these will get, these will just wear out and get a hole in them and uh, we have to replace them to get, keep the brakes working. All right, now, this is where the danger comes in. All right guys, so I've gotten this to the next step. I've turned this around just so that you can see a little bit better what's going on. You'll notice right here, this is the cage bolt that, we, that I was talking about earlier. That way you get a better look at it. But guys, if you do happen to get one of these styles of brake cans, you'll notice there's this red tag on it. And it says in there, I'll take a look at the other one. Warning, spring loaded, do not remove this clamp ring. You're gonna find out why they say that. All right, now at this point, you will never see me from here on out move into this area. I will stay to the side of the brake chamber at all times from here on out. What I can tell you guys, this is one of these times of you cannot be safe enough. And I do not, I can't reiterate this enough. I do not ever recommend you attempting this. And so, just so that you understand, I am taking this very, very seriously. That spring is under a lot of tension. My poor friend Nick is, uh, <laughs> I've gotten Nick pretty well worried. But that's okay. He's a smart man. I know I gotta be getting, I should be getting close to where I can use the ratchet and speed up a little. But you'll notice I'm having to put a lot of tension on this to do this. So while I'm doing this, we'll talk about, about pressure. This is a 30-30 brake can. So that means that the diaphragm in there is 30 square inches. I've done some experiments, and we'll get to those as well, of uh, regulating air pressure. This spring starts to collapse at about 20 pounds per square inch. And if we've got 20 pounds per square inch 
and 30 square inches, how much pressure is that? 600 pounds just to start collapsing the spring. When it's fully collapsed, that is about 80 pounds per square inch. Once again, we've got 30 square inches plus or uh, 30 square inches times 80. That's 2,400 pounds to fully collapse this spring. I hope you understand what I'm talking about now. Okay. The uh, uh, business section. You notice right here, I've got about one inch of uh, cage bolt left. So it's going to get a little interesting here. that's going to happen is, is it's going to slow down. It's going to start getting harder as I get on to fewer threads just because there's fewer threads so there's more pressure on the threads. So big, you stay rolling. Mm -hmm. Okay, the reaction was so great, big, that it actually knocked this out of the vise. The spring was sitting like this. Grab this. Oops. Grab this. Look at how much room. That's how compressed that spring is at rest. So, I hope you guys understand now when we tell you how dangerous these springs are, they are dangerous.